Welcome to Genetics 101. Have you ever been told you look just like your mother? Maybe you're wondering why you and your siblings all have curly black hair. Well, in short, the answer has to do with genetics. Genetics not only explains the reason you might look similar to your parents or other physical traits like hair color, understanding genetics also helps explain birth defects, developmental disabilities, and other unique conditions. This video will review the basics of genetics by talking about genes, inheritance, stability, and variation and genetic conditions. This is Sarah. Sarah's a human, just like you. Hi, Sarah. She is going to help us understand genes. No, Sarah, not those genes. Genes is in genetic genes. As a human, Sarah is composed of many cells, which are microscopic, meaning they are incredibly tiny and can only be observed with a microscope. Cells are called the building blocks of life because each living creature, like Sarah, is made up of cells. These cells give Sarah structure and get nutrients from the food Sarah eats. This food is then converted into energy so the cell can perform its job. Cells are made up of smaller components, each with a specific function that helps the cell perform its job. One of these components is the nucleus. The nucleus is the cell's command center. It sends instructions to the cell, telling it how to behave. The nucleus also houses chromosomes. Sarah, just like you, has 23 pairs of chromosomes. These chromosomes are thread-like structures made up of long strands of DNA which stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. Think of DNA as a ladder that has been twisted. This shape is called a double helix. The steps of the ladder are made up of four bases, adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. A section of the long DNA strand is called a gene. The order, sequence, and length of any of the four bases, A, T, G, or C, in a gene determines its function it'll have on Sarah's body. This is similar to the way which letters of the alphabet appear in a certain order to form words and sentences. See Sarah's blonde hair? That is determined by her genes. So are her blue eyes. The fact that Sarah is a girl and not a cat or an orange is also ultimately determined by her genes. All of the genes in Sarah's body makes up what is called a genome. But where do Sarah's genes come from? Sarah, just like us, inherited her chromosomes, which contains her genes, from her parents. Chromosomes come in pairs, and Sarah has 46 chromosomes in 23 pairs. Sarah randomly got one of each pair of chromosomes from her mother and one of each pair from her father. This is why Sarah looks similar to her mother and father, because they share similar genes. In addition, because Sarah has the same parents as her younger brother, he also receives similar genes. This is why Sarah has blonde hair, just like her brother. Sarah's older brother has black hair. This doesn't make her older brother any less her brother. It just means that he inherited some different genes from their parents. Over time, Genes change or mutate. This mutation permanently changes the order, sequence, and length of DNA. Mutations commonly occur in cells and often have no effect on a gene's function. While some mutations can be beneficial, some can also be harmful. Sarah's body, just like ours, is prepared to destroy cells with harmful gene mutations. This type of cellular function keeps Sarah's genome quite stable. Sarah and her brothers inherited similar genes from their parents, yet each of them was still born with genetic differences caused by genetic mutations. These differences are called variation. Variation accounts for the uniqueness in each person. Most variation is harmless, but some can cause other conditions. For example, Sarah's younger brother is diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy. 
This is a genetic condition characterized by the weakening in muscles used for movement. This condition came about through genetic mutation at birth. Genes are an important part of who we are, and it is crucial we understand them. I hope this video shares the basics of genes, how they are inherited, and how they can change to impact a person's life. Thank you, Sarah, for your help today. This video is brought to you by PATH, Parent to Parent Family Voices of Connecticut. It is the first in a series of videos about genetics and genetic conditions. Please feel free to post your questions below and PATH will share them with a certified genetic counselor who will answer them in an upcoming Facebook Live event. If you'd like to stay in the loop, follow PATH Parent to Parent Family Voices of Connecticut on Facebook, where you will get updates on future episodes and other programs. We would like to credit the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the American Society of Human Genetics, and the U.S. National Library of Medicine for the information shared in this video. Thank you.